Lieutenant General Zamiruddin Shah is joining me here, former Vice Chancellor, Aligarh Muslim University. And uh, Zamiruddin Shah, uh, you have heard these kind of debates. You've been a former Vice Chancellor, former Army person. How do you see this hijab debate in your college itself? How did it play out? Uh, Razib, firstly, let me tell you that this debate is only diversionary tactics. There are more important issues to be discussed. I am amazed how channels are focusing only on one subject, that is hijab. I think it is a new emerging cultural fascism. This should not have happened. This is totally an unimportant issue, but I am ready to answer all your questions. Mm -hmm. You know, my question is, when you were in AMU, how did you deal with the issue? Because apparently one of the controversies was that when you wanted people to come and meet you formally, you insisted they dress up in a Sherwani. Do you believe colleges, schools should have a dress code? Look, uh, AMU, for formal occasions, there is a dress code only for formal occasions. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened? Why I insisted mm -hmm. on people when they come to the vice chancellor? Because people came in track suits, track suits to meet me. That is something which I could mm -hmm. not digest. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you come for a formal mm -hmm. meeting with the vice chancellor, come in the, in the university uniform. Otherwise, there was no uniform prescribed. The students could wear what they liked. And I did see an increased number of hijab wearers, but that is entirely their choice. I did not impose any restriction on them either to wear or not to wear it. Mm -hmm. You know, do you believe, though, that schools in particular must have uniform as part of discipline, that once a school management decides this is our uniform, as a private education institute, they must prevail, that that prevails over, let's say, an individual's uh, choice of, of religious garb? Schools must have a uniform. I mean, all good schools do have a uniform. But let me tell you that for colleges, there should be no prescribed uniform for academics. For formal occasions, yes. But like mm -hmm. in this case in Karnataka, mm -hmm. this, these are colleges mm -hmm. and a uniform is being prescribed. However, if before the beginning of the term, mm -hmm. a uniform was prescribed, then the parents better adhere to it. If it was not, and it is coming to mid-time, mid-term, I think it's unfair imposition. Mm -hmm. in, are you dismayed, though, at the manner in which this is played out in particular, where, you know, competitive politics seems to take over, where this is no longer about uh, enforcing even a school code, but about political power being expressed sometimes through street power, where you've got competitive religious groups, whether it's the Popular Front on one side, whether it's the Sri Ram Sene and the Bajrang Dal on the other, trying to, in a way, uh, bulldoze their way, intimidate at times people into following a particular path. Yes, I'm very, very disappointed at the uh, strong arm methods being used. Uh, I have seen videos of mm -hmm. garments being distributed and collected back for further misuse. Mm -hmm. This is something which is and not tolerated. This should not be tolerated in our country. Strong arm tactics, fascism is intolerable. But the, the question is that this could be seen as, you know, hijab being seen as a regressive practice, one that, uh, you know, puts the woman in a position where she had, doesn't really have a choice because it's the male member of the family who makes a choice and says, look, this is how you've got to be. And it's seen to push the woman uh, uh, in a way, into a position of subjugation. Do you agree with that? Do you see the hijab in, as, as a form of, of, of subjugating the woman, of not giving her a due dignity? It is a matter of choice, choice Rajiv. Uh, it is a matter of choice. I have, Do you believe they I have choice? Do you believe the girls? I, I will repeat again. Do you believe the if girls have a choice? Is being forced, no. If hijab is being mm -hmm. forced, I will oppose it. And if a girl willingly wants to wear a hijab and somebody tries to prevent it, I will oppose that too. So it's a matter of personal choice and mm -hmm. we should leave it to the college students to wear what they like, provided there is no stipulation about uniform and in college there should be none. 
Are, are you worried that every time an incident like this is raked up, it widens the divide between communities, it rakes up stereotypes of, of Islam, promotes some believe Islamophobia? Do you believe that's the truth? Or do you believe there are elements within the Muslim community who are, in a way, also pushing for more archa you know, pushing, saying Sharia above the constitution? No, I'm afraid the Muslims have been beaten uh, totally. They don't want any further conflict. All they want to do is live in peace without any problems in this country. It is our country and we want to live peacefully. I am certain that the Muslims are not pressing the issue. What these uh, girls are agitating about is their fundamental right to wear the clothing of their choice. In conclusion, therefore, uh, uh, Lieutenant uh, Zami uh, General Zamiruddin Shah, how would you resolve this issue? How do you, should it be resolved through negotiation? Should it be resolved in courts? How should it be resolved? Look, I'm afraid I don't think the court is going to give any ruling in the near future. Uh, this is a simple issue. A thing should have been decided straight away. I think the issue can be resolved through dialogue between the two communities. There should be no hotheads. Uh, permitted into the dialogue. It has to be a dialogue between individuals who are educated, educationists and others with the parents. This matter could have been resolved easily if the parents had met the administration. This matter could have been resolved very easily. Mm -hmm. Let me leave it there, General uh, Wise words that this should be resolved possibly through conciliation by two sides meeting and talking in an amicable atmosphere without one trying to bulldoze his or her opinion on the other. General Zamiruddin Shah, appreciate your joining me here on the news today, tonight.